Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can install and use Tick Tick Tax Manager on Windows 11. So that being said, let's get started. First of all, we have to download Tick Tick Tax Manager. For that, simply open your browser and search for Tick Tick. Tick Tick is a to-do list or a tax manager application for Android and Windows computer. To download Tick Tick application for Windows, simply visit ticktick.com. Don't worry about the download link, you will get the download link in the description box. This is the official website from where you can download Tick Tick Tax Manager. Stay organized, stay creative. Now to download this, simply click on download option. And here we have to select our operating system. So we are going to download it for Windows. Here we have a Windows option. Simply click on download app. Here you can see it is downloading. It is around 10 MB. So let me complete the download process. After the download has been completed, just open this file. So this is the setup window. Let me minimize the browser. Here simply select your installation location where you want to install TickTick. For that, simply click on browse and select your location. For now, I'm just going to keep it default. Then click on next. And here we have our start menu folder name. Then click on next. And here we have some additional option. If you want to create desktop shortcut, then check this box or if you want to start tick tick tax manager automatically then click on auto start then click on next this is our installation setup configuration now to install simply click on install and it is installing our installation process has been completed now if you want to launch tick tick simply check this box then click on finish to use tick tick tax manager you have to create an account you can create an account using your email address or you can also sign up with Google. And if you want to use other option for sign up, then click on more and here you will find Facebook, Twitter and Apple ID option. So let me sign up with Google account. For that, simply click on sign in with Google. After you have signed up with Google account, you will get the application. So this is the interface of Tick Tick Tax Manager. I personally use Tick Tick Tax Manager to organize my workflow. Let me show you how you can use TickTick. Here we have today option. It will show you all the tasks which you had created for today. Here we have next seven day tasks and inbox tasks. Here you will find all the tasks which you had completed and which you need to complete. If you want to create a list or you want to create a folder wise or project wise topic or project wise tasks, then you can use this list feature. Here I have code world folder where I have blogging topic and video topic. And here I have completed option. Here I will get all the tasks which I had completed. And here we have trash option. And here you will get some summary option. And here we have calendar. To use the calendar view option, you have to upgrade to the premium version. If you find it really useful, then you can go with the premium version. And here we have search option. Now let me show you how you can create tasks and manage your workflow. First of all, click on inbox. And here you will find an option called add tax to inbox. Simply here, write your tax. Say for example, record a video. And from the drop down menu, you can customize the priority. Here we have high priority, medium priority, and low priority. And here we have our calendar option. From here, you can select your date and time when you want to perform this tax. Say for example, I want to perform this tax on 4. And here you can select the time. Then click on OK. If you want to add tags and other filter, then from the drop down menu, simply select this tag option and you can simply add tag. Say for example, video. Then click on save. Now to save this as a tax, simply hit enter. It will get added to your tax and here you will find date and time and the priority option. If you want to describe about the tax, then simply select the tax. Here we have description option. Here you can write down your description. Say for example, I have to record a video for the Coder World YouTube channel. So this way you can add tags to TickTick. After you had completed the tags, you can simply click on this checkbox. This will get completed. You will find this tags on completed list. Now let me show you how you can create list and folder. For that simply click on this list option. Here you will find plus icon. Simply click on plus icon. 
and here name your list say for example video now from the drop down menu you can select the folder here we have all the folders which i had created or if you want to create a new folder simply click on new folder and here name your folder then click on save and from the drop down menu you can select your list type then click on save just expand this list option here you will find asdf folder inside this asdf folder you will find your video list and here you can add tags to this list say for example upload the video at 6 pm and hey you can see it will automatically select date and time and from the drop down menu you can select priority then click on enter here you will find your tax list if you want to customize this tax like this say for example to do record it edit it publish then you can use carve and view for that simply go to that list then click on this three dot here you will find an option called carbon view simply click on carbon view if you want to rename this section simply click on three dot here you will find rename option simply click on rename and here name your section similarly you can add more section click on new section and here name your section say for example record if you had recorded this video then you can simply drag this option to record it after that if you are done with the editing then you can simply move this to edit it if you want to publish this video then here you can create a new section say for example published and after that you can move this video to published so this is how you can use tick tick tax manager on windows 11 so that's it for this video hope this video was helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.